Meanwhile, in other schools nationwide, the chaos is not over yet. We are still seeing videos of police moving into clear encampments on various campuses. Our Chris Holmstrom joins us now with the very latest on this growing movement. Chris? Yeah, there's still a few schools that have those encampments for sure. So the pro-Palestinian protests have been spreading across the country for weeks. And since they started, more than 2,000 people have been arrested or detained at more than 30 colleges and universities. Yesterday, police at Portland State University in Oregon, they cleared up protesters who had occupied the school's library since Monday. More than 20 were arrested. Video shows officers pushing through makeshift barricades and searching inside the graffiti-covered building. Outside, a car drove into a crowd. I mean, take a look at this video. People nearby, they started throwing objects at it before the driver sprayed something from the window, jumped out, and then ran away. Well, yesterday in a last minute address, President Biden criticized the violence that has broken out at some of the protests. Vandalism, trespassing, breaking windows, shutting down campuses. None of this is a peaceful protest. Order must prevail. And in Manhattan, the DA is now investigating after the NYPD says an officer accidentally fired their gun during the sweep of Hamilton Hall at Columbia University. No one was injured. Meanwhile, Protesters at the University of Minnesota voluntarily began taking down their tents after the university agreed to let protesters address the Board of Regents about their demands that the school divest from Israel. And the FBI, meanwhile, says it is in close contact with state and local law enforcement and that it will share any information regarding potential threats. But as I mentioned, the encampments, there's also some encampments here locally at local schools as well that, that are still up. So, All right, Chris, thank you. Mm -hmm. CBS News Los Angeles, your local news, streaming wherever, whenever.